Hello, this is an A-level maths cast on completing the square. This is the first lesson where we're just going to be looking at the basics, how to do it. And another lesson later on will show us how to use it and what it can be used for. So let's begin. The question says, complete the square for x squared plus 6x plus 1. So, completing the square is a way of factorising. And factorising, as we learn at GCSE, means we need to put it into brackets. While completing the square is a way of putting it into a very special type of bracket. What it will look like when we're finished, it'll have one bracket which will be squared. So it'll be x plus or minus a number. And then there'll be a number number at the end. So it's going to look a little bit like this, but it'll be a much clearer when we go through the example. So all it is, completing the square is a way of factorising but it's a little bit different to the two bracket stuff you did at GCSE. So let's have a look at the question. x squared plus 6x plus 1. All we need to do is we need to look at the middle number, the plus 6x. Because when we make this into a double bracket, we just need to halve this number here, the plus 6. So our bracket squared will be x at the front, and the plus 6x will now become plus 3, because we've halved it. Now, the reason this works, as you'll see in a minute, is if we have x plus 3 squared, well, what we've actually got is x plus 3 times x plus 3. And when we multiply this out, um, expand the bracket, we will get x squared plus 3x plus another 3x, and at the end, plus 9. So when we simplify this, we've got x squared plus 6x plus 9. So that's why you can halve this number here, the plus 3, and you'll still end up with the 6x when you expand it out. The problem is, when you expand it out, you get a plus 9 at the end. So this number here, the 3, when you square that number, you get a 9, and you don't want that. So we're going to get rid of the 9 by putting a takeaway 9. What do we want at the end of our equation? We want a plus 1. So we're going to put a plus 1 at the end as well. So all we need to do now is simplify it. So the bracket is x plus 3 squared. But then we have a takeaway 9 plus 1. We'll take away 9 plus 1 is just take away 8. I hope that's a bit clearer, but I think we'll do one more example. You'll see it's quite simple. So let's do another one. I've written this one in a slightly different form. It says express x squared minus 3x plus 4 in the form x plus a squared plus b. So you can see this is a, the same question. They're asking us to complete the square because this is how you complete the square. This is the form. So, let's follow the same rule as we just did. We take the middle bit and we halve it. So the bracket which is squared will have an x at the front. When you halve the 3, and it's a takeaway this time, you get 1 and a half. Half of 3 is 1 and a half. But I want to do this in fractions. I want to expand it with 3 over 2. So when you halve 3, we've got 3 over 2. Just don't forget it's got a minus, so we've got a minus. So when you expand the bracket there, when you expand that double bracket, you'll get the x squared and you'll get the minus 3x. But you'll get something different to this 4 at the end. So let's take this part. When you square it, well, if I square minus 3 over 2, so minus 3 over 2 times minus 3 over 2, well, two minuses times together will become a plus, and that will be plus 9 over 4 because you times the tops of the fraction times the bottom of the fraction. Well, we don't want the 9 over 4, so we're going to get rid of it. So we're going to take away 9 over 4. Don't want that bit. Which bit do I want? I want the plus 4 at the end, so we're going to put a plus 4 there. So all I've got to do now, I've done most of it. I just need to simplify the end bit. So how do we do that? Well, let's rewrite it. We've got x minus 3 over 2, all squared take away 9 over 4, 
plus 4. But I need to change 4 into a number that I can use. I need to change 4 into a fraction with 4 on the bottom. Well, plus 4 is 16 out of 4, because 16 divided by 4 is 4. So this fraction here is 16 over 4. This is good, because now the fractions have both got the same uh, denominators, 4 on the bottom. So it's going to be x minus 3 over 2 squared. And if you do minus 9 on the top plus 16, you'll get the answer, which is uh, plus 7 over 4, because you keep the denominator the same. So you can see here we've done it with fractions, and you'll have to do fractions if this bit here is an odd number. So we've gone through a couple of examples. You might want to watch this another time just to get your head around it. Uh, and here is a couple of practice questions for you to have a go at. Good luck. <laughs>